Uh, what we've got here is a simulated casualty. Uh, it's fallen off the edge of a simulated wing, about a similar height to that of a Hercules wing. Uh, we're going to go and show now how we'd set up a Z-Rig at the top in order to retrieve the casualty to ground. Right, what we've got here is a vacuum anchor tied back into the structure to simulate being attached to the wing of the aircraft. We've got the bag containing the rescue gear that's now been laid out. If you at the top there, we've got some edge protection, which is about to get put in place. If you want to put that in place, Rich. So we get the edge protection in place. Okay, that would obviously in real life be tied back to the vacuum anchor. For the purpose of this, we're just simulating by tying it back to the roof, back to the structure. So all we do next is get the rope to the right length to reach the, casu reach the casualty. So we open the hand jammer off. Feed some rope through the ID20 to get sufficient length to reach the casualty. You can see through the grating there, there's plenty of there. So now what we do is we get the rope onto a reach pole in order to clip it to the casualty. Simply hooks onto the casualty's fall arrest point. Remove it, that is now secured onto the casualty. The rope then goes back through the edge protection to prevent it rubbing on the sharp edge on the leading edge or the trailing edge of the aircraft. All the slack is then pulled through the ID. The hand jammer goes back onto the main line. And there you can see we've simply created a 3 to 1 haulage system. Simply pull up, we've got it up 6 inches, that's plenty enough now. That would have in reality unlocked the fall arrest block and we could simply lower to the deck. But what we're going to do now is disconnect the hand jammer. The rope then goes through the carbine hook to give it some friction in correct direction. And we simply lower to the deck. So for the purpose of this, obviously simulating the full arrest block. So now simply open up the device and lower the casualty to ground. And all that equipment would obviously come in one bag, which would be available close to the aircraft with the vacuum anchor.